So before we usually get into our warm-ups, there's a, uh, a stance set that we go through, kind of goes through all the postures uh, that we use in the uh, Kempo Karate system. Uh, there's actually two versions of this. I use uh, this, this shorter one with the kids and then the longer one with the adults. But the longer one is essentially the shorter one with extra steps built onto it. So the adults are getting both anyway. Uh, so that's, that's how that works. Um, so we're going to look at that now. Uh, our, our salutation, how we actually start class, is uh, you'll start with your right hand, makes a fist, and you extend that out, um, showing this represents the warrior here, and then we're going to show the palm with the left hand. You step forward with the right, but you turn sideways, and we're going to show the palm with the left hand, but you pull the right hand back. And so we're extending the left palm forward. This represents the scholar. So what we're saying is wisdom, the scholar, precedes action, the warrior. We think first, and then we respond with action or words or whatever the response is going to be. But that's the healthy way to do anything in life. Think first and then say whatever it is you're going to say or do whatever it is you're going to do. So scholar precedes the warrior. When we come back, bring the scholar to the warrior, we step forward to the left in what we call our cat stance. And we salute there, scholar and warrior together, because we represent both scholars and warriors. Uh, wisdom and action is part of um, the, this martial arts system. And we'll step back with both feet, bringing them together. Hands come to the side, then we'll step out. One more time, showing the palm with the left, the fist with the right, and we bring those hands together. Right? So that's our salutation to start with. From there, we go right into the uh, stance set, which starts with the feet together. Feet, feet are together, side by side, and we're going to go out to a horse stance. The way we do that first is we're going to kick the heels out, then we bring the toes out, then we bring the heels out again, then we bring the toes out, and wherever your toe, your big toe lands, that's where you're going to turn your feet forward. And that's how wide your horse stance should be. Right? Knees bent here, arms out to the side. We're thinking nice and flat is the horse stance posture here to the front. And we, we don't really fight in this posture. This is more of a training posture here. And in the meantime, you're isolating the muscles in the legs or your stability. You want to think of all your weight, all your weight going straight down through the legs and like your legs are growing roots into the floor and that you're immobile, that you could stand out in the ocean as the waves crash over you and not move you out of this position. All right, that's how that should feel. From here, we're going to switch to our fighting stance. Stepping back, I'm going to step back with my right foot with the left side forward here. But in the training videos, as we do this, um, I'm actually doing mirror image. So I'll say that I'm stepping back with the left and I've got my right side forward. In any sense, I'm pointing that way with my fighting stance. So if you're training at home, just to make things non-confusing, you turn the same direction. So while I actually step back with the right, my left side's forward. I would say in the video, and you'll hear me do this, that I'm stepping back with the left right side forward here because I want, that's what I want you to do so that we're both facing this direction, right? We want to be sideways for the fighting stance here, and that's probably the most important principle of the whole thing is that you're sideways. What we're trying to do is protect the center line, the invisible line right down the middle. All the important stuff is on that, heart, lungs, anything somebody might want to attack here is on this line. If you get injured on this line, any point on this line, it's much harder for them to fix, right? If you fall and hurt your arms or legs or whatever, that's much easier. But the center line is what we're trying to protect. So we don't want to square up with the center line. That's the reason we don't fight in the horse stance, because that's a square center line. We want to take a sideways position always with our fighting stance. So it's like a horse stance. It may not be quite as wide, right? It's a little bit wider than your shoulders. Your front toe, if you're standing on a line here, and I'm using the floor uh, seam as a line, my front toe wants to be on that. My back heel wants to be on that same line here. So you're not completely sideways. You're turned just enough that you can easily twist to hit with the back hand. I can easily lift this back foot up and kick with the back foot without any trouble. I don't have to adjust, right? Slightly wider than uh, horse stance gives me a stance that is stable, but at the same time I can quickly move front, back, side to side, wherever I need to go. I'm not so wide that I have to 
to make an adjustment before I can go anywhere. So we want stable, but we want mobile at the same time. That gives us this fighting stance slightly wider than your shoulders. Front toe, back heel on the same line. My toes are kind of pointing off to 45 degrees that way because it's sort of where my body points in that direction. And then you want your back hand up by your chin and your front hand in a straight line out in front of that there. And that is our neutral bow, what we call our fighting stance here, right? So from this position here, we're going to slide back to cat stance. I shift my weight onto my back leg, weight onto the back leg here, heavy on the back, light on the front, toes down. This is what we call cat stance. Don't worry too much about what the hands are doing. These are just different points at the forms that we do here, so I'll use it with our stance set as well. Uh, but cat stance, the main point is where your weight is. Weight is on the back leg, front toe, and they come together. They're a lot closer. They slide into shoulder width now so that I can kick with this front foot and hopefully they didn't see me draw that foot in and you can be sneaky about it, right? But the weight's off that leg so I can kick with it. The next one we're going to do is called crane. I'm going to lift, so from cat stance, we're going to lift that front knee up, balancing on the back leg, right? From this position here, again, don't worry too much about the hands and what they're doing. This is just for the stance set sake here. Um, that's where the hands go or they can go to this position. But the point on crane is you want your knee kind of high and you want to point it right at your opponent for a crane position, right? From the crane position here, when you step down, we're going to step to the front here. Shoulders will square up a little bit. My back leg is straight. My front leg is bent. My toes are to the front with the front foot, and my back foot, it's kind of, again, off to a 45 this way. That squares the shoulders up a little bit. I'm going to cross the arms. Whichever foot is in front, that's the arm that will be in front, and the other arm will come behind it to protect that center line because I'm a little more square. This is what we call our forward bow. The weight now is on the, the main part of the weight. There's a little on the back leg, but most of it's on the front leg. Back leg is more of a brace, again. This is an aggressive posture because my weight's forward. I'm ready to go straight through the attacker this way, right? This is what they call forward bow from this position here. So from forward bow, the next part of stance set is um, a forward lunge here. We're going to come up on the back toe or up on the back foot, up on the toes, and bend the back knee. So now both knees bend. You want to keep your back straight, and it's essentially your forward bow, but you're dropping down now. This is if you have to change your level. So instead of bending over the waist where you get top heavy, we want to sink at the knees. This is what we call close kneel, right? And this would be for the stance set, the hand positions. Again, not as important as what the legs are doing, right? Legs bend, pumping the leg up. You're in a squat or a lunge position here. Back leg bent as well. That's what we call close kneel. Then we're going to come back up to our fighting stance, right? Back to fighting stance. We're going to go to what we call wide kneel. The way that works is, again, I come up on my toes, my back foot, and now I will. I'll squat down again. So this is neutral bow. If it had to get lower, again, I don't want to bend at the waist, so I sink at the knees. Sink at the knees. That's wide kneel. Again, pumping the legs up a little bit to get low like that. To support your weight. We're going to come back up. A wide kneel, sorry, wide kneel position. The hands would be like this for stance set. Come back up, then we're going to do reverse bow. Reverse bow, lean back. This is like doing forward bow, but going the other way now. So my back knee is going to bend, my front leg is going to be straight, and I'm even going to turn my back a little bit. You want your eyes still on your opponent and your fingers even directed towards them. The other hand comes up to protect your face, and the weight is now on that back leg here. And this is reverse bow. This is a defensive posture. You're trying to make an escape now. Right, leaning back a little bit, most of the weight on this back leg. Then the last one is called twist stance. We're going to turn, the, my left, left leg's in front, your right leg, so we're going to turn in that direction. Turn to your right, and as you do, keep your feet where they are. Right? Turn the toes, come up on the back foot toes, and then bring your knees together. Bring the left knee into the back of the right knee here. And as you do this for the stance set, I'll do a push down from the front, but that's uh, for the stance set. Again, that's not as important as what the legs are doing. Crisscross, that's our twist stance.
That's the last one. From there we step back up and we come right back to ready. And we do all of that again on the other side. So again, starting from our ready position, hands by the side, we go out with the heel, then the toes, heel, then the toes. We square that up, arms out to the side, horse stance again, think. Weight down through the legs, sink, strong. You could stand and the waves wouldn't knock you over, standing in the ocean, all right? Balanced. Then we're gonna step back, this time, with the right leg, left leg's forward, so we're switching. You should be facing this way, as I am, right? The left toe is in the same line as the right heel, slightly wider than uh, shoulders, knees bent. Back hand up by the chin, front hand in the straight line out in front of that. And again, we're protecting that center line. If they want access to my center line, they have to come over here. And if they do that, I'm going to adjust. I'm gonna keep changing so that I'm always sideways to my opponent. That's a good fighting stance, right? A good neutral bow. So, fighting stance, neutral bow. Then we're gonna pull back to cat stance. Front toe here, left foot toes up. Heavy on the back leg, on the right leg. Here, that's our cat stance. If you're real light on the front, heavy on the back, so you can kick with it, all right? Balanced. Then from here, we're going to lift that foot up. Again, you're pointing the knee at your opponent. This is our crane position, and you want to balance on one leg. Nice high knee. That is crane. Then we're going to step down with this front leg. Again, shoulders square up, toes to the front, back leg is straight, front leg is bent. Left leg in front, so left arms in front of that, right arms behind that, and we are in our forward bow pos position here. Forward bow posture. This is the aggressive posture. Most of the weight's on the front leg. From here, we're gonna shift, coming up on the toes, right? So my uh, heel is high, and bend the knee, and come down to our wide kneel position, our lunge. So as we come down here, this is our wide kneel position. Hands not as important, but really pumping the legs. That's the issue. Come down, sink down into it, and don't bend at the waist. Stand tall at the hips, sink at the knees to get low. Then come back to our neutral bow, back to our fighting stance. Then we're gonna do wide kneel, coming up on the toes again, bending both knees, sinking down, right? This is our wide kneel position. Getting low with neutral bow, low with the fighting stance without bending forward, compromising your weight to the front. And then come back up again. Now from here, we're gonna do reverse bow, that new forward bow going in reverse, bend the back knee, straighten the front leg, leaning back, weights on the back leg, hand points to your opponent in the front, other hand's protecting your face. Again, this is a defensive posture, you're trying to make an escape. Then the last one, with the left leg in front, I'm gonna to turn to the left. So turn the toes first. Left foot turns that direction. Come up on the toes with the right leg. Bring the right leg, right knee, into the back of the left knee, right? Bringing them together, sinking down. This is our twist stance. Last one, legs crisscross. And then we'll come back up. And again, we use that set to pump the legs a little bit, again, to get us ready before we even go into our warm-ups. Uh, just as uh, we did in the stance set, when you go into the warm-ups, I'm facing this way, and I'll call it out that way. Um, even though my left side's forward, I'll call it out like the right side's forward, because that's what I want you to do, uh, so that we're mirror image that way. It'll be less confusing as we go through these basics, and uh, follow that up with the, uh, the actual workouts, too. So. Uh, the order you want to go in is um, you start with this, start with the stance set, then any one of the warm-ups, pick one, there will be five, right? So do the first one out of five, and then any one of the workouts, there'll be five of those, A, B, C, D. So you do one, and then A is your workout. And in between your warm-up and your workout, you do the stretching each time. So it goes stance set, warm-up, stretching, workout, right? 
and then you go to the next one and you'll do the same stance set you'll pick a different warm-up you'll do the stretching but you'll do the same workout do the same workout through all five warm-ups and then you're ready to go to the next one right and that way it'll give you 25 different exercise uh, routines that you can do enjoy